Take one. Hi. This is how to build a terrarium so that we can model the water cycle in our class today. First, you need the 2 liter soda bottle and you need to measure 12 centimeters from the bottom. Notice that the soda bottle still has the white taping on it from the label, so we can use that to mark our 12 centimeters. Take a pen or a pencil and then just put a little line so you know where to cut. We're going to be cutting this bottle. So here's my mark and what I'm going to do is squeeze the bottle so that I can get my scissors over that mark. And then I usually just put a slit in the bottle and then take the scissors off. Now I have my hole so that I can cut around the bottle. And we're going to cut around the bottle. You want to try and make it straight. I know we can't always get it so perfect. But we want to go all the way around the bottle so that we can cut this apart and have our two sections. Now that we have our two sections, we're going to use the bottom section for our terrarium. So if you notice, the bottom of the bottle has the little divots in it, and we're going to put gravel in the bottom of the bottle. So take your scoop, get your gravel, probably just need one scoop of gravel, and put it in the bottom of the bottle. You want to fill, just fill the divots. So you'll notice that they're just filled in the bottle. Okay. Next, we're going to put soil in, and we want to fill the soil to about an inch and a half or about three centimeters from the top. So it'll probably take about two scoops of soil to put that in on top of the gravel. And you want to make sure you smooth that around and get some more soil here. Put that in, spread it around. And probably, all right, here we go, third scoop, third time's a charm, there we go. So we want to fill it up about that much. We don't need it full to the top because we need some room for the plants to grow up. And then you want to take and put your seeds. Just, you know, make put your seeds in here. Spread it around the soil, push them down into the soil like this. And then we need to water them. So take your spray bottle and you want to really give it a good soaking. I turn it around just to make sure it's, I'm getting a good soaking in here till the top of the soil is good and soggy looking. We have some condensation on the side from the spray mist which is okay. But you'll also notice you can start to see the water soaking into the, the soil. But all this soil is dry so we don't want it to be soaking wet but we need to make sure that it's good and moist. So I'm going to put a couple more squirts in here just to make sure that it's good and moist. Now the next thing we need to do is go back with our scissors and we're going to cut four slots into the bottle equally, try and get them equally around the side of the bottle. And then this will make room so that we can put the lid back onto the bottle. So we want to kind of push it into the slots. The slots allow the bottle to bend and conform around the lid and there'll be some room I'm trying to push it in here it's not working but we'll get it in here eventually but this by having the slots we can overlap the plastic that way and make the lid fit down oh, there we go nice and snug good and snug so there's our terrarium so all we have to do now is make sure the lid is on the top and then we need to take the masking tape, pull a piece of tape off, put you and your partner's names on the tape, and put your tape onto, oops, didn't quite write out. Um, then we're going to put the tape onto the bottle so that we know that it's your bottle. And then we're going to set the bottle on the windowsill. Now you do not have to put the tape over the edges of the bottles to hold it together but you can do that just as a little extra added security. So there's our terrarium, and in a couple of days we should start to see some seed growth, but we're gonna talk about what we're seeing on the bottle and what's happening on the inside of the bottle as the plants grow. Homemade terrariums, fun in school, fun at home.